In this video, we would be covering co coding pneumatics, specifically coding double solenoids. We would be intaking and outtaking this hatch panel using two double solenoids, one that goes forward and backward, and another that acts like a clock. So let's get started. First, we would create a new subsystem. Here, we would use two double solenoids. The double solenoid constructor takes the forward channel and the backward channel and an optional CAN ID. So we would create We would create two methods for intake and outtake. So the intake would look like this. First, the claw uh, goes to the rest position. Then the arm extends and the hatch is inside the claw. The claw closes and the arm uh, goes to its normal position. So here's a recap. Now we would co code the uh, outtake method. Similarly, the outtake would look like this. The arm extends, the claw opens, the arm goes to its normal position, and the claw closes. Here's a recap. Now we're done with the hatch subsystem. Now we've created the hatch subsystem, we would create an instance so it can be called by other classes. We can initialize our variables here. Now we would be creating command for intaking and outtaking.
we would write our code in initialize, which only runs once. Firstly, we need to import After we've done that, we can write this code, robot.hs.intake. The execute method keeps on running until the isFinish method returns true. Since we only want to intake once, we would just say that it returns true. Now we would do the same for outtaking. When the user presses a button, uh, we need to call the corresponding uh, command. So we will create a class called OI. We would be using joysticks and joystick buttons. The joystick constructor takes the uh, port number, uh, which is the port on the driver station that the joystick is plugged into. The joystick button constructor takes a joystick instance and a an button. Uh, we need to import hatch intake and hatch outtake. Press method uh, keeps on running, uh, keeps on running and checks if the joystick button was pressed or not. Now that we have created a joystick class, we need to uh, we need to call it. We're done, and there are no compiler errors. So if you want more information about, uh, about the me specific methods, you can visit these links. Thank you.